Good day everyone, welcome to Pro Amazon YouTube channel. This is our talk tutorial on HTML CSS tutorial for beginners. Today I will be iterating HTML element and focus on text element. Now what is element again? Element are HTML components or markup that can be used to modify and introduce objects on our web page. For instance, if I open my 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 project, let me try to create a new file for you to understand better. Let me call it lesson three. Lesson three dot html. And let me write the basic HTML structure. Here I will have head here. I'll have title here. Then I'll have let's say lesson three. Lesson 3 and from here I have body. So now I, I now have my basic HTML structure. Now based on what I explained, HTML elements they are they are they are HTML components they, are, they can be referred to as a component of HTML that can be used to modify and introduce objects. What we bring by this is this HTML we are talking about, the the the, the, the major function is just to um, help us to modify element. In sense that I can decide to have a let's say a particular object such as text, let's say hello. Now this hello is just a normal text, and if I run this uh, normal text with uh, my browser, let me open my project again. Then lesson three open open pro. Then if I run this project, as you can see, we have just a normal hello. So this is just a normal text in the eyes of the browser. If we try to add element to it, probably we want to make it bigger than this, or we want to make it kind of more broader than this. We will try to introduce an element. Let's say call boot. Or let me just say we want to make it like as an header. Let's say h1. Then we'll cover it like this. Hello, hello. Opening tag, closing tag. This is the opening tag, then closing tag. So if I decide to run this again, as you can see, it's broader than what it is before. So basically, elements. They are mostly meant to uh, to modify particular um, particular objects or introduce particular objects into our web page. So here now, I I try to modify the the normal hello, the normal text here and make it as a header. So basically, that's what element does. Then now, if you are writing an element, element can be you can have um, what we call an opening tag and closing tag. This opening tag and closing tag, they are like a container. You have to specify um, the the element, the, the the object you want to modify around them inside the the tag, so for it to take effect. Now let's take a look at, for instance, if you are conversant with using a Microsoft Word. Microsoft, let's 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 assume I have a text in Microsoft Word like this. Um, I am a boy and I want to boot this particular text. You guys know that we'll have to highlight it first before we click on the 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 the, the icon boot so that for it to for it to boot this particular text. Same things goes with goes with um, HTML HTML element too. If I want to have if I want to um, make modifications to a particular text or an object, I'll have to use um the, the 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 tag which is the container to cover both or uh, to cover the both side of that particular um object and that is what we have done here so i i believe you guys understand what i'm trying to say now once we have an element here we also have what we call uh, an attribute some elements they have attribute in the sense that we can make more modifications to that particular to that particular object that has to do with that particular element in the sense that 
this edge bone there might not be the the I we can modify it in the sense that I can decide to use a star. This star you are seeing here is the attribute, which means I can also do some apart from giving the the the, the, the particular object and an header. I can also do some additional modifications such as style if I decide to give it a color. So from here, if I size if I said color, let's say red here, yeah, and I load my page, as you can see it changes to, to red, which means the header what the what this element does still remain, and I also give it additional modifications such as giving it the color. You might not you might not concern yourself about this as this is one of the um, ways we can write um, CSS. This is a CSS code, but we can we can try to make modifications. We can try to write our CSS inside a particular element just to give it an effect. So this star you are seeing here is what we call an attribute, and the the the, the, the what is going to do is what we call is what we call the value. So when you are seeing a code that has an element like this and also has something inside that has is equal to um, a value here, you should know that this is what we call an um, an, an, uh, an an attribute and a value. So now today, having discussed about what element is, majorly what element is, we'll be focusing on element that has to do with text. That focus on um, text. As an object so we'll be talking about the likes of we'll be talking about the likes of ether the, the 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 types of ether we have we're talking about um, a paragraph we'll be talking about bold we'll be talking about italic we'll be talking about subscript we'll talk, talking about superscript we'll be talking about white space how our HTML Andrews white space then we'll be talking about line break, we'll be talking about horizontal break, we're talking about strong emphasis. We we have orders like block quotes, we have sites, we have abbreviation, we have address. So we'll be focusing on all these um, on all these or let me just say some of these um, um text um elements for you to see how we can actually make modifications to, to text on our web page. Now if you really want to understand what um, a, 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 an element that makes modification to text is, you need to think about, uh, let's say, Microsoft Word. You know, if I want to put, if I want to um, put a particular um, word in Microsoft Word, like I said before, you highlight it, then you you click on the the icon on the on the taskbar to to give it the uh, the particular effect and I want to give it to, I want to give it. So. You also you need to you know draw your mind back to Microsoft Word to see what to see some of the things that has been done that can be done in Microsoft Word. Then we can also do it here um, using using um, HTML um, code. Now let's let's start with what we call header. This H1 is an header. An header is similar to um, when you are writing an article. The the, the first more or less like the, the topic and the subtopic. We can we can say that is what we call an header. Let's say we have an articles like um, let's say we have we want to write an article such as let's say sorry let me try to generate a particular text. Lauren, let's say this is this is a particular this is our article. Now if I try to run if I try to save this and run the code. We have something like this. Let me try to double it. So here, let's say we have um, a we have an article here. Now, of course, our article must have an header. So if I try to, if I say, okay, having an header, let's say, else is wealth. Now, may I write in this? Even my my editor has already changes. May I write in this? Our our code, our browser will see it as more or less like a text. So we need to add an element 
to tell the to tell the the browser that okay this particular text is an header so let's say we are let we and we have like six header we have header one we have header two we have header three we have header four we have header five and we have header six header one is bigger than header two header two is bigger than header three Either 3 is bigger than either 4, either 4 is bigger than either 5 down to either 6. So now let's use either 1. So here now, if I'm using sorry, h1, then let's see, uh, it is with h2. So now, if I run this code, you see the, 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 the title, our title is big and uh, it has draw the rest of the the, the, the the text down so which is which means if we want to create um if we want to have um if we want to make a particular text and header then this is um the the we, we use this h1 or h2 now let me try to uh change it to h2 you realize that header one is bigger than header 2 as you can see the the, the, the size of that uh, type 2 has reduced then if i try to change it to header 3 then if i run it sorry there's a mistake there okay header 3 h3 yeah then we have this so the header is the header is um each one of the headers they are they are bigger than the others so I'll try to do it so that you can you can understand it better. So let's see. We have data one. Data one. Data two. Data three. Data four. Data five. Data six, so if I run this, as you can see, this is our header, but they have one similar, regardless of how small they are, how big and small you know they become, they have one features. Once you once you make a particular text header, all other text after your closing your closing tag, your header closing tag. It will draw them down and that, that's exactly what that has happened here so now i have explained what header is then the next thing is a paragraph a paragraph is the ending of a sentence and introducing another another line for a new sentence so now how do you create an header an header we use what we call um, p to denote a paragraph then which means any um, if we cover a particular text with this paragraph the the the, the, the next um, text after the closing tag of this paragraph will draw down so now let's try to use this paragraph on our text so from here now if I use P opening tag and here now let's see um here okay let's just stop paragraph so if i do this page you see it has given this particular um uh, sentence a paragraph and all other uh, text after this paragraph has been brought down so now if you want to add a paragraph you use p then what if we want to put a particular text? Let's assume I want to I want to I want to put let's assume I want to put this particular text. Then it's still the same thing. I use B. I'll use B to put a particular text. So from here to here, let's say from here to here. So if I save it and reload this page, as you can see, um we have used the, the, the element B. To, to put a particular text then what if I want to italize the particular text maybe I want to italize this particular text 
all I just need to do is to introduce my ad and I'll have this so as you can see we have utilized this particular text then we also have what we call subscript superscript now subscript and superscript is more or less like you are trying to uh, um, write a fraction using html so then i assume i want to write a fraction using html how do i do that then that assume we do something like this i know many of, many of us want to do something like this two four slash three as you can see it is exactly the way we write the code but we can actually achieve a particular fraction by using what we call sub sub means superscript so our two will be here so we can have something like this then our sub means subscript let's say three which means this subscript will be the one will be will be down and the superscript will be up. so if i reload my page as you can see our two is to party now looks like a fraction so that is the function of subscript superscript then we also have a white space one thing about um, our, our browser is when you're writing an, your html code your browser will not recognize a space so which means if i try to create a space here just like i did here and i save it even our our, our editor my editor try to close the gap again so which means our browser too the, does not recognize what we call a space but how do you do that there's something we call a, a character escape then we introduce we introduce this um, what we call an npsp then colon as you can see if you write it completely it will automatically it will automatically uh, change the color if you're using visual studio code and any other editor that have a, 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 a text um, a license then immediately what is it as you can see let me see we let's say we have a more than one no breaking space okay so as you can see it gives it a space so nbsp we can use it to actually um, give a space in our in a particular text or in our text so this is exactly what i what i've actually done here so now we also have what we call the line we have what we call the line break we have what we call an horizontal break this basically will help us to move once we declare our line once we declare our line break or um, our horizontal break is to draw um, text after we uh, text after that um, the text we have after we declare the, the the line break it will bring it down to another line so let's uh, let's do an example let's say we have splash prayer so to do a line break we, we use this element called line break now if you notice this this does not have um, opening tag or closing tag they are called a, um, an empty um, element so they don't have opening tag and closing tag so as you can see it actually bring repellers which means as you can see it, being, it brings all the text after after um, the, the 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 element the break element it actually brings them down to a new line then we have we also have um horizontal break now this horizontal break actually brings all text after that particular arc after it takes down it also gives it the line so we use hr to do that so let's assume slash r so this one too does not have what we call the um, open tab isn't tab. so as you can see it actually brings all those text down then it also gives it a line so we also have all other elements such as text element such as in strong probably you want to you want to um make a particular text to be strong to be kind of bold then we have that one too or if you want to lay emphasis on a particular text as you can see strong 
If you want to lay emphasis on a particular text, so we have um, the we have what we call EM, which is me, which means lay emphasis. So as you can see, it is similar to um, if you are internalizing a particular text. So these are some of the elements that we have. These are some of the element element that we can use to actually modify a text. So now I'll be doing some um, trying to um, summarize what I've explained so far. We said we have an element. An element can be used to modify a particular um, can be used to modify what we call object. Object can be text, it can be image, it can be sound. So now today we focus on what we call um, a element that, that can be used to modify text alone that can be used to modify text on our web page. Then I started with what we call an editor. When you are writing, let's say you want to write an article or a news, all news must have what we call an header. All news must have what we call a sub header. And if you're writing an article and your article must have an header, must have um, um, what we call a title. So we can use this header to achieve um, um, a, a, to achieve um, a, a title because a title must always must be must be bigger than um, the normal text. So that is why you are seeing. And we said for us to create an element, so an header has from one to six elements. We have the H1, we have the H2 down to H6. Then the H1 is bigger than the H2 down to H6, and that is what that is the header. Then we the, we talk about the paragraph. If you're writing an article or if you're writing a particular text, you might you might need to um, um, declare a paragraph for each sentence. So that is for each uh, point. So we use what we call um, a, a paragraph, and that is P, and it has an opening tag and a closing tag. Then we we, we, we also have um, an italize. If you want to italize uh, a particular text, so we use I. Then we have a um, subscript. If you want to achieve something uh, like a fraction, so we use um, a subscript and superscript. The superscript will be the one at the top, and the subscript will be the one um, down. So we use. The, the SUP to achieve the, 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 the superscript, then we use the subscript to achieve this, the subscript. Then we have white space. You might want to give a, 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 a white space to a particular text, maybe a gap to, to between text. So now we use what we call an NBSP, uh, NBSP which means non-breaking space, to, to give a particular um, gap to, to a text. Then we have a um, Line, we have line break. Probably want to want to um, move a particular um, text or a word or a sentence to a new line. So we use that line break to achieve that. So we use and that for us to create a line break, we use a um, br. And I said this is what we call an um, empty empty uh, empty element because they don't have opening tag and closing tag. And there are some some element like that that don't have opening tag and closing tag. Once we start talking about um, image. You start talking about um, input. You start seeing some those elements that have an um, opening tag, that have a, that doesn't have um, a closing tag. So then we talk about strong. We talk about emphasis. There are some other elements. There are some other elements, you know, apart from all this one that I've mentioned and I've used. So I I I will I will uh, implore to check uh, online or check our uh, ebooks, you know, for all other elements. But these are the major elements that you you need. These are the common elements that you need when you are when you are creating uh, an HTML web page uh, that has to do with uh, when, when you're using a lot of text on, on that web page. So now I'll be doing some. I'll be doing um, a, a, an example with all these elements. So I already have my my article called article.html here, and if I try to save this page, I try to um open it for my browser then article click and go to chrome so as you can see everything is jump pack we don't know the the title we don't know the, the paragraph and all so here now i'll be doing justice to to this text as we'll make it readable to to our user to people that will see it now this can avoid the text sugar uh, without testing it is a title which I will just name it um, give let's say h2 so from here h2 
so if i reload this page now now this is our this is our our title then all other um sentence will be given a paragraph so which means if i say p a paragraph or a paragraph p from here the ending of the sentence let's say this there is another paragraph this is a paragraph then let's say p and let's say p this is another paragraph and let's say uh, p and let's come here and let's say p slash p so this is another paragraph let's say we have another paragraph from here d to p and let's say we have one from p let's say down to let's say down to, to here all right so if we try to run this script now automatically we now have them um, a, a readable as a group as all, all our all points in this article has been put into paragraph for easy readability then i can choose to um lay emphasis on some i can choose to lay emphasis on some 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 word or some set or, so, or some sentence in this um in this um in this article so i can choose to put this research from Columbia University, you can choose to put it. So we uh, don't mind my. Then I can choose to put it. So if I save this one, as you can see, the researcher from Columbia University has been put. Then we have the center for disease and control. I can choose to make this one italize. I can italize this one. From here to here, so I can choose to utilize this one. So as you can see, the conf the center for has been utilized. So then we can we can lay emphasis on Columbia Zuckerman. We can we can make it strong. We can make it strong, which is similar to both. So from Columbia, I just make it strong. So the main thing is why do we need all this we need all this you know to make our to make the, the text our user to make all the articles or text our user the our user will read when they open our website to make it uh, more easy to read by 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 you know laying emphasis on major major text major text we, we believe they will want to see and that is exactly what we have done here so far so if you if you don't understand anything you can you are free, you can you can you can message me then i will explain um better the way that you, you understand it and i believe i have done i've done justice to um, what element is and what um, uh, element we can use on text is so thank you for your for your time i hope you, you enjoy um, the, the lesson